Welcome everybody to the channel. Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Today I'm out with my mate Mucker, Kato in the back. Going for a walk somewhere. I'm gonna run out. Um, feeling a wee bit better today. Health-wise, I'm not coughing, not spluttering as much. Um, but of course, checked out today, no more. On the BBC have not arrived yet, which I wanted to deal with, but obviously have not arrived. Um, but like I say, we'll see what happens this week, next week or so. Uh, if they don't arrive, we'll uh, try and think of what, what it is. Maybe because I've done, I've still done the decoration with the BBC in May of been aware that I'm still under the declaration and of course they realized uh, um, they don't need to come knocking on my door maybe that could be the one of the reasons because I still got the two years left on my declaration till February um, 2025 uh, sorry 26 or 20 yeah 24 now 25 yeah next next year February my, my renewal date and uh, if they check the records they may know the address may come up and uh, realize that they've made a mistake because as I said that's up to them but whether they come or not is not another thing you know because as I said before um, it's all documented here for you what's gonna happen if they do come they come and there's nothing more to be said about it, just to just come and just just tell them. You just tell them no license required. This address. That's all. That's all you have to do, folks. I don't want to repeat myself all the time, but that's what I said. You know, it, it that is the normal thing you do when they come. As I said, it's something that um you know, at least it's all documented here for you. If you want to become like Inspector C. Like I told you, um, I don't force it on anybody, just that it's just documented to me here on this channel. That's what it's about, becoming license free. Meaning that you don't have to pay for a TV license. You're not watching, you're not paying. It's that simple, folks. It's just that simple. If they do come, I'm, I've set up cameras to, to film them if I can, possibly. But I want to be very careful about that because what you're going to say to yourself is um, we'll see what happens if they do call because as far as I'm concerned it's it's on my property it's um, I'm allowed to do that because they will come and they will normally have a dash cam on themselves once you've got their ID off them they will be um, if they do come of course they will be telling you uh, I've come to check and all the rest of it they'll have their own way of doing it I've got my way of doing it which is something I want to do for the channel so you could all see it in action you know what happens and uh, they may come again may come again in three months time or a month's time or something but as I said it's all going to be documented for you that's why I'm doing it so that anybody new to TV licensing and want to do it they, they've got a record for themselves on this channel what actually happens to you and what happens really is nothing much other than that when they come knocking on your door you know the routine folks which has been explained to you if you're a member of my channel a member uh, or a subscriber I don't have to repeat myself it's only for new people I repeat myself really to to know what to do at the door when they come that is basically why I'm doing it so everybody's aware of what you have to say to them and the, the main thing is, you're not watching, you're not paying, you're not watching any live television. And of course, then you don't sign anything, just say, no, thank you, goodbye, and you shut your door. That's all you need to do, folks. It's that simple. Nothing else, just shut your door, say goodbye. That's all you need to do. Nothing else. I mean, they're trained to 
door to door selling they have they'll have their own way of approaching the matter you know what they do on your doorstep is what they practice for in the training school where they go to to, to, to try and sell your license because they've got no powers whatsoever any authority at all they've got no powers whatsoever they're just salesmen that's all they are and um, they're not a bailiff they're not a power of the police they can't ask you to come, to come into your property and investigate <laughs> they have to go back to a magistrate to get a search warrant so once you've been aware of this these facts that they have in their code of conduct anyway they may you might get the odd one out who may want to try and black you especially if you're a housewife somebody who is not familiar with the situation uh, and uh, you, you're not expecting them to come uh, then they'll try and uh, especially the target an area they may have it on the records that you've not you've stopped paying your license it's on the, it's on a computer base basically in the area they're in they may just come knocking knocking on your door unexpectedly and say uh, we come to investigate a TV license and if you're not aware of your rights and your rules then you might get caught out um, at your doorstep but the reason why I emphasize at your doorstep most things start there because once you've cancelled your license and you're not paying your direct debit anymore that's it you, 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 there's no communications with them you're not subscribe to, to them in any way or whatsoever you're not paying them anymore so eventually as time goes on like, like in my situation now they're eventually going to come and call if they're in that area that it may take six months it could take 12 months it could take two years we just don't know because the, the way they operate is very discreetly uh, they've got capita they have certain targeted areas um, and that's what they do now obviously if you're living in a country somewhere miles away from people uh, they're not going to come around doing that they want to try and just sort of big areas big cities like Birmingham Liverpool Manchester um, stuff like that Chester stuff like this major cities areas they're going to concentrate more on but that doesn't mean that they're not going to come whichever Ever situation you're in or wherever you live in it's a property that eventually they will come and try and sell your license once you stop paying over a period of time that's what happens to you you know you, you will get this believe you me you will get it and that's why approximately 50,000 people a year as far as I know 30,000 housewives I can't believe it over a period of two years uh, get say 25 between 25 and 50,000 every two years get prosecuted now I want to stop this happening by people listening to my channel spreading the word to other people share like um, subscribe to my channel and of course the more people get to know like the great Chili John of course he's got um, 100,000 subscribers which is great for, great for him but in my particular case, I'm doing something a bit more different than, than Chile. I'm doing it on the battle ground, which is the doorstep. And if they come, you have to know. You have to know where you stand and what you have to say. Otherwise, you're gonna, they're going to get some information off you. If, they, <coughs> <coughs> if you're given the information they want, then you're going to fall for their, well, court action. You don't want to go to court for anything, being fined for nothing. If you're not paying, you're not watching, and there's nothing they can do about it. It's that simple, folks. I'd like my videos to get to about 500 people, maybe watching them, uh, watching the videos again. It's about 500 people, which I was getting one time. It's gone down to a couple hundred. That's the way. YouTube works maybe I don't know but if you give us a thumbs up like leave some comments YouTube will pick it up and may spread the word a bit more with my channel and, and in 
looking like more and more people who are thinking about becoming license free. Not just people new to it really as opposed people who may have not been aware of the situation and they will become new to it after finding out what they can do and what the rights are. That's that's why it's about sharing things to other people to know how simple it is to become license free like inspector C. That's what it is. It's just be like myself. If I'm going to get fined, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be first to, to tell you what happens if it does happen. But it's not going to go, go going to happen, folks. It's not going to happen to me. Hopefully, anyway, uh, because I know the score. I know what to say to them. They come knocking on my front door. I know what to say to them. And of course, the way the BBC have operated over the years um, is to run on fear, a fear of coming knocking on your door and trying to um, catch you out maybe catch you watching BBC television stuff like this of course with my channel the documented things and what spreading the word to other people that the door-to-door -door selling or the door-to-door -door harassment events it will become no use to the BBC anymore and people either myself and other people like Chilly Great Chilly John of course if people know what to do, it no longer becomes viable to do it. I mean, <laughs> we don't get the rag and bone men coming around all the time now, trying to sell, have you got any old rag and bone like and stuff like that, on, on people's houses anymore. People don't do it. <coughs> or very much daughters or selling. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, daughters or selling. At least maybe they may get a couple of leaflets through your door and maybe if you want to somebody wants to say some double glazes that's the way it's all been leafleted now because you might get the odd one I did get one a few months ago actually to try to sell me uh, uh, some door a new patio door or something but I, I just told them no but like I say occasionally you do get that you know occasionally um, you're targeting an area but very very rare now that you get anybody uh, coming to your house really so this is what it's about trying to get people informed what to do and then this situation in 2027 anyway will stop because the BBC now will know through hopefully myself and other people it doesn't work with the public anymore it's you the public know what to do it won't work anymore and then it will stop just stop it's bad enough having letters come I mean, I've not got one this month, this is the October, unless I go home today, you know, I've been out this morning and uh, checking my dog out and stuff, but as I said, I've been out and I've been in with flu for a couple of days and uh, I've not been able to get out, but the point is, uh, whether a letter will come this week, uh, the third week in, uh, in October, maybe November, if I don't get one, another letter, that's what they might be crafted by doing, it making you feel uncomfortable by not sending a letter anymore, then this is what they, 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 they work on, is fear, is fear all the time, the BBC, like with the, the old detective vans, that's what they had years and years ago. They're trying to do it with, with the, the, the harassment with letters that they may leave it, a, a, say six weeks after they sent you one or a warning saying we're coming to visit and you net no communication whatsoever that's what they might do so everybody um, who stops paying the license fee is going to be targeted <coughs> targeted by letters eventually then a while no letters for a while maybe six weeks or something like that then they may come accidentally if they're in that area to visit you and then try and catch you out and try and uh, you know, um, well, whatever. If you know what, if you, if you do know what to say to them, it's going to be fine because you know what to say to them. Um, and that's what the object object of my channel is to make sure that you know what to say to them. That means, no, thank you, goodbye, shut your door, do not sign nothing, and everything will be fine. That's all you need to do, folks. Anyway, thanks again to everybody who's um, subscribed to the channel this week. I mean, I've not been too good. <clears throat> I've had a bit of a chesty cough and uh, not feeling too good but I'd say well, I'll still try and do what I can and um, hopefully uh, you know 
hopefully um, <clears throat> we'll see what happens. It's all documented here. We'll see what happens. It's uh, it's interesting to see what happens anyway in the next week or two. Uh, nothing's going to change really. I'm going to still do the same um, to make sure people understand what's going on and uh, hopefully um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, folks, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye now. Bye.